for Clone Wars. Mm -hmm. You know, this has been promoted as being the final season, yeah. but now you're in it, right? Do you think that there is space for more Clone Wars beyond what you Clone Wars specifically, I don't know. I mean, I, I love that I've gotten to finish it. It means so much to me and the people making it. You know, it, in some ways it's a very personal project because it's a show that, you know, I worked on with George Lucas, uh, the team and I that made it. Love that time in our lives that we got to, to be up at Skywalker Ranch making it. It's so special to us. A lot of people that made that show have moved on and are doing fantastic. Uh, with their career, but I have, you know, all the key people uh, in place uh, to bring this to a close. And I think it feels uh, proper and fitting. I, I put a lot of thought into the end, you know, I've really taken it, uh, you know, for everything I have learned over the years from George, now from John, making Mandalorian and applied it. Uh, I'm very proud of it. Uh, but I am, I think it's time to bring that, that chapter to a close. I love uh, the people, love the characters. Uh, and, you know, it's not like the characters, some of them can't go on. So I'm sure that there are more stories. I don't know if I'd call them Clone Wars stories, but I think there are things in the vein of Clone Wars and animation that we're always going to be doing now. I think everybody knows the value of that storytelling that Lucasfilm Animation does and the talented team of people uh, that are there. I'm always still involved with the animation group. I love my animation team at Lucasfilm. I mean, they're the reason I get to do this. Uh, the hard work they've done has, you know, pr propelled me into this place where I can be working on Mandalorian. So, you know, it, it is the end of the Clone Wars, but I think it's when you see it, you'll see why. And it's a, it's a really good thing, but that's not to say it can't launch other exciting things as well. Uh oh. Go for it. Mm -hmm. Do you see a world in which someone like Ahsoka could go live action or anyone else, like some of your, your animated creations could make the jump and vice versa? <laughs> yeah, you know, never say never. You never know. You I, it's, you know, it's interesting. <laughs> it's really interesting. We'll have to wait and see. You know, I find, uh, I just want to tell stories. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have different mediums and different ways to do them now. Uh, and if something works for that medium, if, uh, the right uh, things come together, uh, I don't see why not. I mean, the characters to me are the characters. They're as real in animation as they would be in live action. Uh, I think the actors and the people that have brought the animation to life have done so so beautifully that the fans regard many of them uh, in, in, in some cases equal standing to any of their live action counterparts. I'm very proud of that. So. To me, they're all real. They're all alive. And we'll just see what the future holds.